Peace to the family. Waiting for you guys to come in. At the crib, the Miami crib. I'm just waiting for the homie, Mr. Morrison, Mr. J. Morrison, to get up in the building. Oh, we're about to get in. We're gonna. I mean, it's all money and it's all wealth. At the end of the day, it's all money and it's all wealth. Yeah, it needs a little cleaning. Just light work. Yeah, yes. This the joint with, where the seats give you a massage when you're driving. It's off the chain. They got the joint come with the fridge and all that. Yeah, just cop this crib. This is a uh, man. It's been here for a while, but still new. Still new. The market is in, in our favor, incredibly. These are not downtimes for our people. Yeah, I know the pop smoke got got y'all like, yo, don't show their dress. I know. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Don't worry about it, people. We good money. Jay supposed to be on right now. He's uh what i what i will do if he doesn't get on inside of two minutes or so what i will do is contact him through this senate president what up jude because my brother yep so stay on just a few more minutes or i'll just start teaching in the meantime i do got a course that's coming up all right Boom, boom. I do got a course that's coming up. I got the lights. So look, I turned my joint into a dang classroom for you guys. I turned this into a classroom. This is the projector right here. Boom. I turned it into the classroom. I moved some stuff out. And my daughter. This is my daughter's stuff. Oh, Matt. I got the blicky. And this only hold 10 minute clips. When I'm doing Instagram, this is my Instagram gun. It only get I only could load a 10 minute clip. So I got the blicky. It'll bust my gun when we doing the knowledge. This is dope. This little phone tripod when needed. I'll turn the light on. Come on, Jay. <laughs> Like, hey, y'all know my saying. Those of you that walk with me, I always say I'm too smart to be broke. Look at that. Wall Street. Black Thursday in America. Come on. You know I'm from Brooklyn. New York in general. Come on. Come on. Brooklyn. Come on, Brooklyn Bridge. Let me show you how that look. I'm waiting for Mr. J to pop up. Look at that. Look like I'm on the bridge. Never forget where I come from. But the L.A. crib is, is you know, highly advanced people. The L.A. joint is, is the one I'm so proud of. Because that's the mansion. I can't go out there because the service was messed up. There's so much trees, it blocks the service. Well, you get the idea. You get the idea. Come on, Jay. Mr. J. Morrison, get up in the building. Because when I start talking, what's going to happen is I go on the zone. And once I go on the zone, I might not even see his name there popping up. You feel what I'm saying? I might not even see his name popping up. So I'm doing best. You know, if you're from Brooklyn, you know what the low life's are, right? The low life, you know that low life. So, yeah, you already know. <laughs> you already know. Tribe Called Quest, which I know about that. But yeah, this is my social distancing space right here. This is where I lock in 
and I started teaching my classes and everything. Low life. Y'all know if you're from BK, you know. You already know. All right. So what I'm going to do is contact Jay. Oh, yeah. You might want to see this. High ceiling. They say, yo, don't show off, don't show off. You know, we got to stock up, right? On them baby supplies. They say... Don't show off, don't show off, don't show off. But they don't understand. It's about a demonstration. Because I, I ain't going to talk to you about this information. And then my life is trash. And from one year to the next, you always see me level up. Like I said. And this is light. Because when I'm in Beverly Hills, that's when I really put in pain. This is my second home when I'm in Miami. Uh, you know, the tropical environment is just more conducive for flu season for me. So during flu season, I like to come out here. Just to add, add a little extra security to the family as far as health is concerned. Alright, let me click on to this brother. Let me see if I can get this brother. Let me see if I can get this brother up in here. I'm going to see if I can call him out. You know what? I know what to do. Hold on. I know exactly what to do. Let me stay in the crib. Because I'll be having to turn the internet off and on depending on if I'm outside or inside. Yeah. You know you get money when you hear the echoes. I'm supposed to have my people come through. Waiting for my when people come through, I got a meeting. Okay, now we good. I need to turn. Let me turn this light on. Boom. Now we talking. Come on, Jay, where you at? Where you at, Jay? Let me see. I'm going to hit him up. Boom. He don't get on. I'm going to just start going in. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Right, I think we got him. What's up, King? Hey, King. Peace. Yo, I didn't know if you wound up in the chat. I'm still kind of new with some of this energy, so I... <laughs> I'm going to contact them. I know how to do that much. Right, right. The old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way. I was about to ring you on the dial phone if I had right. to. <laughs> Rotary joint. <laughs> so, yeah, family, up, salute. Man. Peace. Peace. Peace to the guard. Peace. Yeah. Word. So, man, I, I'm a, I want to just jump in and say, um, first and hey, foremost. Yeah, I, I like that slick move. You look to the side so we see them waves spinning. Oh, I like oh, it. I like it. We can be intentional about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> to have waves since 84. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm going to pull a look over to the left or the right move real quick. Yeah, yeah, I ain't mad at you. I, I just finished doing my, my little small time starting with the crib. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> no, man, I'm just chilling, man. This is light work, man. It's fair for a square. <laughs> no, nah, man. Um, I'm really excited about this building opportunity. Um, yes, sir. If I could just hop in and say that, that's what my spirit, right? I'm like, I'm running around the house like, yo, God, get ready. I'm like, wait. You know, Same way. Yeah, yeah. And so, no, it means a lot to me um, during this time. I mean, not just this time of, of, of COVID and Corona and all that. I'm talking about during this time for our people. Um, right. I think it's a really critical time for us. And um, I try to get more intentional about building and building. And I love that me and you got to build for, I think that was like two and a half hours yesterday. Or whatever yeah, it was. we was going in. We was going yeah. in. Or, 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 on a one-on-one -on -one and really getting, to know, really getting to know one another. I, I think too That's many right. times we get to know each other by our <laughs> social media presences, you know, what's said about somebody, whatever. All right. that. And we don't necessarily, as men and as women and leaders in the community, 
we don't just get the build and just like, yo, bro, what you been through? You know, like, like where you at with it? Like, that's what's right. Your vibe? What's your vibe? And so, um, I love that opportunity to build, uh, because that's because you know our, our unity is everything. Everything, everything, and yeah. you know one of, one of the most profound things we discussed yesterday, and apparently you spoke about it outside of our discussion, and I spoke about it was the mere fact that someone like case in point Marcus Garvey was able to mobilize the people. Yeah. Most honorable as Muhammad was able to mobilize the people. We talking about no them social. with no social media. So impressive. The onus is on the people and the onus is on the leaders. We're gonna we're gonna make this twofold. Facts. Two you know I, I can't make a leader without social media outdo me when it comes to the numbers, right? But we also, as a people, mm -hmm. as far as mobilizing the masses, our people got to come to terms with the fact that we should be doing those same numbers. Triple the numbers. 1,000 fold. Right. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Because that's in, it's incredible what our predecessors were able to do, lacking in resources, educational tools, food, Hey, listen, Garvey right. came over here from Jamaica, and this is just like 50 years after our chattel enslavement. Yes. And Garvey just was able to mobilize 20,000 people in Madison Square Garden for 30 days. Damn, 30 days. 30 days, 20,000, not 20,000 in a live stream chat. <laughs> 20,000 at the garden. At the garden. And, and for 30 days. Man, that was amazing. was able to raise $800,000 for the Black Star Line, which is equivalent to $11 million today, was able to do that with no social media and go raise capital for our own businesses in that's real life. Crazy. It's outside of it. It's on the counter. Man, that's just... I so, mean, when you think about those numbers, those are numbers. You know, when LeBron comes after Jordan, he has a criteria to correct. establish himself as GOAT. Facts, right? When Kobe came in the league, he had the criteria. The bar was set. Yeah. And it's always hard to compare errors, but then there are some things we do take into consideration. Numbers and so that's right. So we can compare and contrast errors, but our predecessors is leaning on us because they was able to organize without the internet. And so two things that, I, or one thing especially that I know a lot of people say that's similar with us is a great deal of our inception, maybe not our immediate beginning, but a great deal of our inception as far as the receptivity of our people, it, it comes from us being in the streets talking. Yeah. Damn near on the soapbox. Yeah. Yeah. Corner roots. Yeah. That's yeah. right. So, and you see, I accredit my deliberations on the street to the mass amount of people that I've been able to connect with. That, that groomed me to be able to speak with people online. Because when you're on the streets, it's like a comedian who can get heckled at any given point of time. Somebody oh. always claims to know more than what you know. They right. always out there. You know all, all that. And you they, got, and they you, come. Not you got to, drug deals going on right to the left of you. You got, you got people nodding off. And, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we in the war, trenches. Man. We ain't talking about being in the streets like being in the birds. We talking about in the trenches in the streets, on the corner. like. Murder Mac and Peter in Detroit, you know what I mean? Like real talk, like, like I Marcy know. Ave in Brooklyn, like Fordham Road, Bronx, like Bankhead, yes. Atlanta, like in the streets, in the streets. Yeah, Pizza. and saying, and saying, I'm, I'm, I'm in the shopping area of Harlem. I'm yeah. in the shopping area of Fulton Street in Brooklyn. You feel me? Where people are going there to patronize the colonizer, and I'm out right. there like, yo. Before you do that, though, Let me like they look at me like, yo, who the heck are you to stop me from doing what I'm doing? I'm like, hold on, y'all in the sneaker line. Well, this is where class is going to be, right where the sneaker line is, around the corner. We're going to build, and I'm going to see how many of y'all can get off that sneaker line right now. Because just think about it right now, my brother. When all those sneakers, they stayed there patiently for, what happened? Can they turn them sneakers in right now and, 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 and get something in exchange for it that comes remotely close to half or a quarter of what they paid? No, but they, took, they put the work in, got up early, Stayed on the long line, some of them the night before, and they did that diligently. But what did you tell me? Some people would rather donate than even invest. 
<laughs> you feel me? And so when you tell people about stocks, when you tell people about real estate, and then we start building with them intimately and going yeah. into great detail, it's very interesting that they cringe at the idea of separating themselves from a few dollars. But when they bought the Fit Cap, okay, the new era, that's sparkles. Like $40. I got, the sparkles. I got the sparkles in the club for that $40 bottle of liquor that cost $300 in the club. And no one cringed. And, and we, we smiled and was elated at the idea we was about to get something that would give us no return on our investment. And I ain't mad at it. I took a picture, look, look, took a picture of the receipt and put it on our story. Yeah. I, and you I, see, I, I ain't I, mad at I, it. I, 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 I effed it up. I tore it up. I tore the club up. Tore the yeah, club you, up. You, you effed up your money. <laughs> happy you I see. gave Gucci that money. I'm happy I gave Gucci <laughs> that money. Oh, European car, European designer. Look at me. That's right. That's right. And but you see, it's look, funny God. you mentioned the Gucci thing because, you know, my, my persuasion was different. I'm never mad at a person who say, Stop buying from them. I, I totally get it. I'm never mad. It makes perfect sense. You're not wrong when you say that. Absolutely mm -hmm. not. I just think about things on a more economically militaristic level. And those two words may not be put together, but they have weaponized economics against our people. Okay, so, so and especially in terms of our lack of knowledge. So I, I don't know who was the first one to, to kick it off, but I know in my world, I know the company that owns Gucci. And so when I had my conversation with the people, and I want to get your take on it as well. Sure. All right. And then, you know, we're just going to build. We're going to build. But I want to get your take on it for real. Look at no uh, agenda, no itinerary, no run of show. This is Bill. Black man yeah, Bill. Right. Bill. So with the Gucci thing, I said I wasn't feeling the boycott. Not that I don't dig the boycott. Boycotting. I'm with the boycott. I wasn't feeling the boycott. The premise of it, of the we got a three-month duration. And I'm like, I never heard of a statute of limitation or, pre <laughs> or a premeditated schema to decline from boycott. And I thought we do it until we get certain results. I ain't know right. <laughs> prophetically know in three months we'll be done with this. So yeah. I didn't like that. And what I also tell the good brothers and sisters, this is why we need to be organized because people mean well, but we also need people that are educated in certain areas to help bring about the impetus that we're looking for to cohesively bring the masses together, give us resolve, and also come to terms with our agenda, get that resolution. Well that's, so, well, that's the forefront of our problem, is that we have no governing body. That's we it. We have no legislative body. We have no commission. We have no syndicate. So there's, <laughs> right? so there's fractions of us working in silos who have the best intentions but can't even lean on the expertise of the rest of us who may be better suited to contribute or build on that great idea, but because we can't work together, it always gets done in fractions and fragmented because we can't be intentional enough to go organize ourselves in order to go do community business. So in, in, in reality, there really is no community. That's a fact. What's it look like? If there's a community, what's it look like? What, Does it look like the, What's the bylaws community? of the community? What's the core values of the community? What's, I, that's real talk, real talk. Criteria. And, and, and that takes it to another point, though I'm going to go back to the Gucci, is that we have to come to terms. Sometimes some of us are multifaceted in, in such a way our mental portfolio is so diversified that we can wear multiple hats. Very true. That's Very true. true. Yeah. However, <laughs> there, there comes a time where we can't be afraid to delegate responsibilities to certain brothers and sisters void of the fact that we feel we can also get the job done. So what I mean by that is, but I tell people on my end, you, eventually when you make enough money, you want to get a start in five and understand that your talent, right? So just like you have a point guard in a, in the old NBA, right? It is the modern NBA. Yeah. You your point guard, your shooting guard, your point, your power forward, your small forward in your center. I'm like, Hey, get you a manager, get you an agent, get you a publicist, get you a CPA, get you an attorney and maybe an entertainment attorney, whatever, but get, Get those people locked in and, you know, and you're six men, you we know. We call it being an expert at hiring experts. PR, you feel me? So so someone could tell you, oh, I study this, and statistically, the type of comment you're making, you're going to need to retract it should you do it. And if you do it and you see the spill, don't be in your ego. Retract it. 
change that shit up. Fix it. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to access the means justified extremes. But Here's the problem, though, Tim. No, go ahead. Self-appointed leadership. And so no one can really be reprimanded, right, or disciplined because most of our leadership wasn't under the tutelage or the mentorship of another party to another organization where sometimes they had to either be silenced. That first of all, we, most of us missing our fathers and we're void of any leadership development. So we just wing it. We, we set up a YouTube channel and be like, I'm leader. But check it and out. No, 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 that, that, that's the worst kind. No, no, that, that's the worst kind <laughs> is, is just, uh, yo, I got a few views and now nobody at work. I ain't got nobody at work, but I got some views and some followers and now boom. I'm, I'm a leader because I, I got some followers. I mean, I mean, I must be a leader. I mean, I don't got nothing tangible to show that I actually accomplished, but I got some followers, right? That's the worst kind of leader. But, That's the worst kind. Right, yeah, but I think that the other point you were saying is many of us and many in our community <laughs> will be sophisticated enough to hire publicists, to have, you know, an account and have some team members. The issue is we'll trust some hired help or we'll trust some help from outside of the community before we trust the opinions of each other or trust the integrity of each other. This so, is true. As opposed to you come to a Brother Polite, to a Jay Morris, and to a Trick Nashi, to a Derek Grace, to a Brother Burnett, to a Brother Islam, to a Tip, to a Killer Mike, to a whoever, 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 to drop your ego and be like, oh, bro, I don't really like notice like that over here. Like, instant. part of why I'm here selfishly while on your page <laughs> is because I seen the depth of your knowledge and the massive tool that you've been under in regards to our health, a holistic you health. That, brother. And, right? You. And so I'm like, yo, I know the finance game. Like, I get a bag, get a bag, been getting a bag. Like, I got that part. But <laughs> when it comes to healthy eating, healthy lifestyle, under the tutors of the Dr. Savior, Dr. Dr. Ben, Dr. Uh, uh, Queen, Queen of Four, et cetera, Queen Four. Right. I, right, right? I'm sitting here like, yo, if bro my age, he of my peer group, and he really, I'm watching. And I could tell fluff from non fluff. And he really know that shit in depth. And, <laughs> and, and my wife is building a queen and, and all that. But I can go to, to bro to give me the bro to bro. Give me the bro to bro help shit. Because you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm 6'3", yeah. three, three, 214. Like, I'm just naturally kind of fit and shit. Like, I don't work out. Like, I don't do nothing like that. <laughs> I don't I'm my lazy shit, to be honest. You know what I mean? Like, I did. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not eating the, the best. And I want to be able to, as a CEO of my last name, as a patriarch of my family, I want to be able to lead my family to better right. healthy eating, especially right. during a global health pandemic. If I'm the leader of my family and I don't got the game for my family and I'm just relying on my queen to do that, which she is a nurturer of our home, but if I as a man am not equipped because I have too much ego, too much pride, or too much lack of trust of Brother Polite to go to him for what he's an expert in. He's a proven, I can tell, right, proficient and knowledgeable brother in his field just like I went to Wall Street Trapper last week, like, oh, bro, I don't know the stock shit like that. Let's do a live. Put me on game. Let everybody learn from it at the same time. Wow. That's just you being a kid. Like, but that's trust. People like, so I want to go back to a point you made about Garvey real quick. So everybody know when I talk, I swear. It's just, I, I, I go in. So hey, listen. Same way. Go, and we're going to go back to Gucci as well. But go ahead. Right, right, right. Cause we have Garvey and Gucci. I took some questions before we got on here that they wanted to hear your, your build. Or and or mine. So right, I took so into consideration. So, so, so we owe him that. So we owe him that for sure. So you know <laughs> another thing about Garvey is that I was I was building one with King Clinton the other day. Garvey and W. E. D. Du Bois had a few. They had a Garvey Must Go campaign, right? And we said, <laughs> right. imagine if W. E. and Garvey actually could have got past some differences and patched that up, where, mm. where we would be as a community. Imagine if. Booker T and them would have passed that up. Booker T Washington. Imagine if when a lot of Honorable Elijah Muhammad and, and, Mark, and, 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 and Martin Luther King, when they shook hands, imagine where that would be had Dr. MLK not got assassinated. My point being is, as a community, we find every reason not to build with another brother. Oh, yo, I heard he, I heard he, I heard she. We find every, he's not perfect. I can't build him. He's not perfect. We find every reason not to build with one another and not to think about if we do build, do create trust, do improve each other in our flaws and in our growth and in our process, what is that dynamic effect 
we'll forgive we'll forgive Bill Clinton for the three strikes law for the war on drugs for for, for sending us and we'll, we'll love Bill Clinton let a black man do a one post that we don't like oh, I can't I can't rock with him right now because he posted something that I disagree with so again right. I just think it's important that for us to do what you said to be able to lead more effective boycotts going back to the Gucci to lead more effective organized boycotts That's we right. gotta be able to come to the table as a syndicate, as a collective, and trust each other in our expertise, and be able to talk past, communicate past, and build past our differences. If we can't do that, we can't never, yo, Republicans and Democrats build past their differences. differences. That's right. Countries at war, countries at war, murder each other's captains, generals, all that, and build past their differences. Black Absolutely. men, black men can't even build past some shit you ain't even do to me. <laughs> Real talk. And that's Real talk. right there. We, we're not sophisticated and, and see, organized enough about that. Somebody, somebody wrote in there, F boycotts. And I want them to know, they are effective depending on the approach. They are effective depending on the direction and how knowledgeable people are. And that's based on the think tank. That's based right. on the collective. Okay, so boycotts, we, we can't take that off the table. I know it's they were. Cool. Especially in the age of social media, I don't think we scratched the surface of a new approach. Oftentimes, when we do things, we attempt to do it from a 60s, 70s perspective. And that's what the issue is. If I come in a modern NBA with a, I'm going to stay on the low block and I'm going to hold the ball <laughs> for about eight seconds, 10 seconds, like Carl Malone used to do, and run the clock and then turn on the street, that's not effective no more. That half court set is not what they're doing. So, and then in other cases, you might be able to inject some of the themes of, of previous conditions into the modern day to throw people off because it's so outdated. It, people are, they, they, they can't even recognize it when they see it. So Surprise, you've been doing it's, it. It's a matter of what mixtures, combination, it's permutations, that's what that is. So like in the case of Gucci, which I wanted to explain, and uh, which we did this on the page, when they said boycott it, I said, okay, when they when they revealed how they wanted to boycott, I said, "Not nah, okay. I'm I'm minding my business. I can't take it serious." And they said I was squatting on my people. They said you always talking condescending. I said, "No, you know I, I talk aggressive." And that's another thing. Some some of these people again, if you wasn't if you didn't have male figures or if you wasn't brought in under strong males in the neighborhood, whatever the case is, then sometimes you would misinterpret a man's conviction for something to be like condescending or, or, or negative. disrespectful or something like that. Yeah, you're, just talking like, you're just talking when, passionate. Yeah, because at, at some point in this live, I may start turning up. That, that's why yesterday I did my live outside the car because I was addressing people that said uh, I, I needed credentials for certain things. And I said, I don't need credentials to tell you that milk has 750,000 somatic cells, which is a euphemism for pus, or that it has 24,000 live bacteria before the Food and Drug Administration takes it off the shelf, or that it's pasteurized, a process in which they use radiation to prolong its shelf life. It induces something that causes cancer for people that's looking to avoid it. Okay, they say milk does the body good, and they say you need that vitamin C, you need that calcium. And I say, okay, but you can't take calcium unless it's accompanied with magnesium. Why? Because the magnesium is what helps buffer the acidity of the calcium, okay? Otherwise, the very opposite is going to take place. If you take more calcium than magnesium, if you don't take it in a fair ratio, it's going to strip away your bone density. It does the complete opposite. Most of what calcium is accredited for belongs to magnesium. And, and, and the thing is, no matter how popular the rumor was about calcium, you can look up what magnesium does for the body, and it does everything they said that the calcium in the milk does for the body. And then furthermore, that the milk has animal protein. So animal protein is high in sulfur-containing amino acids, which compromises the integrity of the body's alkalinity. So then what happens is the enzymes, right? It's like Pac-Man. So Pac-Man looks like yeah. this, and then you have the ball that looks like this. So with the way enzymes work, let's say the, the disaccharide that's called lactose. So it has an O-S-E at the end. The suffix is a sugar. And if it has an ace at the end, then that suffix means that it's an enzyme. It's made up of proteins that have a specialized job. So in this particular case, amino acids get together and they form enzymes that are designed to break down the disaccharide, which is a double sugar molecule, lactose. So you have ace and ose, ace, lactase, mm -hmm. to break down lactose. 
ACE will be the enzyme. So you have protease. And that's an enzyme to break down protein. So the ACEs break down the OSIS. That's how that works. But gotcha. the only, only problem so, is the So they're saying you can't say all that because you don't got a certificate. Yes. So And this is the issue. And this, <laughs> let, me, let me show you how I broke it down with them. And I'm going to go back to the milk. Let me show you. I said, you know what? A lot of us debate about religion. You do know you have theologians, right? You have people that's credentialed, okay, in theology to have those conversations. You would feel a way if I say you need credentials to talk about religion, even if you have references, even if you can break down scripture, even if you can say, in the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. I'm not a religious dude, but I'm equipped when I got to do a bill for the purposes of picking my people up, not tearing them down. So I, I dug into it because I'm concerned like a concerned parent because they deal with us like children when it comes to this information because we don't ever ask questions. Okay? Correct. So now I turn around and I go like this. All right, bet. You got people that debate about history all the time. No one says you need to be credentialed to talk about history, yet you have credentialed people when it comes to history called what? Historians. You feel what I'm saying? And no one ever says you got to be credentialed to debate about history because you know if you can get references for people who did the field work, whether they be anthropologists or, or paleontologists, whatever the case is, so long as you source your material, accredit where the information is coming from, it's just as valid, okay, to substantiate your points and your claims. But for some reason, when it becomes, when it's about health, for some reason, even if you tell someone, hey, that milk right there, that's cow's blood. And no, if you take, can, can, you take can, them can, blood. Real quick, let me just say, that, that ain't it, though. That ain't it. Because if you were a white man talking as fast as you just talked and as accurate as you just talked and as conviction-like as you just talked about health, they would never ask you as a European man, where are your credentials, sir? For saying these things, they would Facts. say, "Damn, he knows what he's talking about." You know, God, I, no, those are great debate points you just made on a historian, theologian. Then I wouldn't go in that direction. <laughs> the first thing when you said that is, I'm saying is that before someone critiques or says that you need credentials, they should first do research to prove that what you're saying is is, is inaccurate. Now, if that what makes you sense. Said, now, if they did the due diligence and research to disprove what you're saying or to prove that what you're saying is fluff, is bullshit, or is inaccurate, they then could call your bluff and pull your card to say he's out here talking phony shit just sounding smart. Then Real they can say something. But if they can't disprove what you're saying, they should give you the benefit of the doubt as a knowledgeable black man, a well-read black man, as someone who came up under tutelage and, because we didn't have certificates in Africa. When we he were dancing, healing each other and building the pyramids, we're no certificates. Like, <laughs> certificates, were, <laughs> certificates were made by your oppressor. Like, that, That's that, right. That was man-made. That's right. And, and let's also add value to this conversation and make it clear that the credentialed people are the people that enslaved you. The credentialed people are the people that came up with vaccines that were recalled. The credentialed people created the system that has a prison incarceration rate that puts us at a disadvantage, uh, a, a prison institutional system that has a mandate for nine out of 10 of the prison cells, okay, to be filled in the privatized prisons, that the people that's credentialed found a remedy for the mortgage crisis by having prisoners, whether they sign it advertently or inadvertently, they sign a bid, a pay bond, a payment bond, a bid bond, okay, and, and, and these three, and these bonds, are consolidated into mortgage-backed securities, okay, to, for, for people that are in the military and for people that are incarcerated, they're leveraging their debt to society being paid through their free labor to remedy freaking mortgages, okay? And that nobody, they, these guys got the credentials. Bro, I was bond, a Listen, a I was Big bond, payment bond, and performance bond, those three get consolidated in the Corrections Corporation of America acts as the surety. Oh, yeah, just look this shit up. You feel so what I'm saying? Take it, take so and that's why there's a direct correlation between incarceration going up and mortgage failures. That's why you see it all the time. The prison incarceration goes up every time there's a bunch of foreclosures. Because they that's that, that's uh one of their remedies. But go ahead, King. I love it because your perspective be accurate and it'd be a whole different perspective than what I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, right? So I'm looking at the credential business and I'm like, it's a business. Every time you need a credential, it has a cost to it. They, create, they created the credential 
as a vertical as a vertical integrated business model to their business. So you know what? I'm gonna create this software. In order for you to work this software, you gotta be certified at the software. Guess what? You get certified at the software, you gotta go to my school to get certified for this price to work my software, you gotta pay for on the other side. You wanna do mortgages, you gotta be a certified loan officer. You gotta pay a loan <coughs> origination fee, you gotta go to a loan origination school, you gotta get certified to do loans that may go upside down through foreclosure to help the prison system you just talked about. And let's find out where the drama comes in. Cause King, I know you got credentials for several things, but watch this. I know without knowing that what you have managed to accomplish historically, which unfortunately as unprecedented as it is, we're not gonna come to terms with it until both you and I are not here, but historically, cause a lot of these people that, oh, they love Marcus Garvey and all these people, I'm sure they were their detractors and their trolls in that time. And if the internet existed, you would have been banging them in the head with several repeat messages to defer people's attention away from them. But what I know, without having to be, really be in your world and see what you have done with your years and levels of education, I know the bread and butter, the cachet, the, that what you have done to arrive at the point where you was at, that's not taught in school. That, there's something else going on up there. That's why you was able to reconcile within yourself how to do what you're doing, okay? Understanding the zoning and, 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 and how it works to our better advantage, that's not something a people with power are not going to teach a people with less power how to compete with their children for that power. That's not how you instill or restore or sustain a legacy. So what you've been able to do, the fact that it's historical confirms that it's not taught in school you can take the resources they put before you, but there's a thing called smarts and a thing called intelligence. And you're actually intelligent and many people are actually are smart. So with smart, you could just take some computation, commit it to memory, regurgitate it. I, if I teach my daughter two plus two equals four, and then I say, now tell me about it. She says two plus two equals four. She's smart. I'm glad you remembered it. Now, if I teach my daughter two plus two equals four, and she's able to mathematically deduce, if two plus two is four, then four minus two is two, and then four minus two is two, then two times two is four, okay? And then if that's the case, then two to the second power is four. Then I know if the output it comes several times over that of the input, she's so what I know when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to not just an intelligent black man, because when you're comp when the output is beyond three, four times over, then I know I'm talking to a brilliant black man. <laughs> it's a black man, and this is what I say, because you know, I wrote over 90 books. This is what I say. If I wrote more books than most white people who have the advantage, knowing that they cut our tongues out to avoid us of being able to speak or communicate amongst mm. each other, knowing that they, they chain the books, particularly the Bible, to make sure don't nobody get slick, since this is the only book we're going to give you, we don't even want you reading every chapter. Knowing the setback, knowing the cheat in the race, okay, the double entendre, it's a race. Knowing this and understanding this, whenever any of us do anything that's unprecedented in the intellectual world, you have to not only give kudos, you have to say that that is not even just smart, that's not just intelligent, that's not just brilliant, it's ingenious. Because a man of your stature, knowing what they've been doing to us, when it comes to real estate, knowing that from pre-K to 12th grade is 14 years of going to school, and you haven't learned a thing about food, clothing, and shelter. You came out of there, you didn't learn how to sew, you didn't learn how to crochet, you don't know how to cook, and you don't know nothing about UCC uniform commercial codes, you don't know nothing about mortgage-backed securities, you don't know nothing about mortgage hypothecation, you don't know anything about any of these things. Earnest money, Credit, debt, loans, LTVs, ARVs, purchase ratios, ROI, Credit. conventional loans, private lending, Owner financing, Nothing. wholesaling, flipping, landlording, property so, management, commercial real estate, syndicate and deals. So that. if we know after 14 years of school, the only thing you could do to attempt to touch any of that information is go back to school again. Hold on. Let's do it again. If you go to school from pre-K to 12th grade and you don't learn about food, clothing, and shelter, how are you going to be a functional adult? So what I'm saying to my good brothers and sisters here, especially knowing that my brother here was incarcerated, which means he had time out of his life deducted. He was subtracted away from society. And after all of that, Two and our brother years. has arrived to do something historically, not because he's one of many, but a one in one. I give it to you, Ken. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, if no one understands what it is, it's yeah. a privilege and it's an honor to talk to you.
And we, we need to respect each other like that on that level. I'm talking the community. We got to respect this this king right here. Now, really, you know what? You told me at the first time I talked to you, you said, bro, it's an honor to talk to you. And, and I felt that. And I appreciate that. And I got enough knowledge to know it's an honor. The knowledge tells me it's a damn honor. It, it's not the accolades. It's the knowledge tells me, yo, I see what he's doing. I see what he's doing. And I know the obstacles they put before us. So the fact he was able to transcend void of the incarceration. Now, you know, I was in Rikers Island, too. <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, 374, my three upper. <laughs> void of the incarceration, time away from society. You didn't come back out to go back in. You came out and kept other people out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Facts. You know, yeah, I, yeah. You, and, and, I got and, and, love for you. Facts. And, and, and now, for, and I appreciate you. And for those who don't know, what, 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 what King Polite talking about is um, June 1st of 2018, on the anniversary of the Black Wall Street bombing, uh, my wife and I and our organization, a Tulsa Real Estate Fund, we went out and we had an untraditional, non-traditional IPO. We offered shares of our company to the public at $50 per share, minimum 10 shares, so $500 investment. And um, over the last year and a half, a little over a year and a half, we raised over $8.5 million and built a multi-million dollar real estate fund. Class A office spaces, the Black House in Atlanta, 30,000 square feet, Opportunity Zone property, 2.6 acre campus. We just developed that. 98 unit apartment complex in Macon, Georgia. We all own together over 9,700 investors. So we got 9,700 of us, plus of us, almost 9,800 now, who invested to raise millions together. Everything clear audits, everything transparent, all dollars accounted for. Um, and we were able to raise capital, deploy capital, not walk away from the fund, not go blow the fund, but mm. go out. And, and, and also we funded several... Black investors and developers, two black women on nearly a million dollars of, of real estate assets, 14 <laughs> units in Lake Charles, Louisiana, seven units in New Orleans, Louisiana. We funded deals, three unit blanket mortgage in Cincinnati with a young black man investor, uh, fix and flip in Nashville, fix and flip here in Buckhead, Atlanta, student housing um, collateral here in talk Atlanta, 20, talk, units, 20 units of student, <laughs> student housing. This in real life. Talk that talk, so, man. So, we talk about but 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 I gotta say to our earlier point of, of, of the honorable Marcus Garvey, Marcus Garvey and the UNIA raised the equivalent of eleven million dollars with no social media. We raised over eight and a half million dollars with social media. Yo, our ancestors is is, is drilling on us. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what it really is, my good brother. And a lot of us don't want to come to terms with this, but y'all know my saying in my world. I always say I'm too smart to be broke. And it costs way too much to be poor. These are facts. facts. When you amass wealth, things are a whole lot cheaper. These are facts. Things are given to you when credit is good. These are facts. Credit is a covert class system. Yeah. Okay. It's just about privilege at that point. It's a covert class system. And they can't deny your credit because of your race, but they certainly could deny your credit because of your zip code. So we know what it is because the races exist in clusters within the confines of zip codes. So they got a whole credit card redlining system to determine who they're going to give the larger loans to. Facts. These are facts. Okay? Facts beyond a, a shadow of a doubt. And so when we say, what is the hindrance? How is it that our predecessors were able to do things greater, larger, and more vast than that of the people of today? Granted, the incredible resource that the internet is. Separate from the brothers mostly, I can't really say the sisters. You know, they may show their body, but I mean, as far as the, the gossip, the brothers is gossiping more online. So we're going to talk about the brothers. I, 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 don't, I, don't know where, I don't know where they was raised at. That's just different. <laughs> you I know, the brought up like that, bro. talk about other men, and this promotes a great deal of dissension. Some of it is calculated and some of it is inadvertent because of the lack of their tutelage, the lack of them being mentored, and the inability for them to be disciplined or criticized without being emotional or thinking someone's hating. So that's one thing. But a, another thing is, you know, as I say, I'm too smart to be broke. So it's not about if you poor, you dumb. But you got to have a certain level of self-respect and a certain level of integrity about yourself to not accept the blockades or the obstacles, not not give in to the fact that there's stark circumstances that were premeditated in terms of your life to see to it that you fail to succeed. You got to have a certain level of pride that says, no, no matter what the terms are or the circumstances, you'll be, you will prevail. 
But aside from that, as it, it costs way too much money to be poor, our wealth has always been in our unity. That's Anytime right. you heard about the glory of any leader, there's a picture with seas of their people. Okay? But what has been our greatest hindrance is the inability for our leaders to connect. It's, <laughs> it's Bro, all, I don't get it. It's all good. <laughs> 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 I see you trying to be quiet, and that's just like... <laughs> You good? Yeah, we we working hard, working hard into the alkaline jump. You are gonna be alright, but you know, we're in the alkaline when it goes. Oh gosh, that's the alkaline drink. <laughs> it's okay, you good. <laughs> but um, yeah. So the issue is this, people. Let's say my brother Jay is as fly as he is, right? Then that, you know, and he is. Then on the receiving end. Let's say Brother Jay reaches out to another brother in humility and says, hey, man, let's work. Let's, let's do something. Let's, let's, let's do some stuff together. Let's connect. It's good for the people, right? Black power. We, we, we talk that vibe, right? But then what happens is on the receiving end, ego comes in. And it's not just for the fame or the clout, but it's also, damn, like when the DVD thing was going down before this new technology, I know for certain I got to bring it to you the hood terms. I, one thing's for certain, like we say, right? That, yo, people were afraid they were going to lose DVD sales if people started liking the other guy. I've, I've done lectures. The way I also came up, I funded lectures with other teachers. So what happened was I know for a fact the legends that exist in this era that's popular to us, especially in America, I know. I did more lectures side by side with with the with the legends or the most highly revered lecturers or orators in our community than anyone else. I know that for a fact. And so that's when I came to terms with what it is. And this is not a knock to anyone. I done did lectures with Ashwa Crazy. I did lectures with Dr. Africa, rest in peace, rest in power to the brother. You know, uh, I did lectures with Dr. Africa, Dr. Sabi, uh, Phil Valentine, uh, Delbert Blair, rest in peace to the brother, rest in power, uh, you name it. Uh, uh, brother A.A. Rossi, you name it. It doesn't matter. I did, uh, You name them, I most likely did something with them. And, and what I realized was, and it's not a knock to them, had I not funded, because what I was doing, I was building my campaign. I was building my brand. Right. I was on mixtape shit. Like, let me just open up for you for 15, 20 minutes, and I'll pay for you to come to New York, and you can keep the bag. Right. I, because yeah. I knew how to make money. So I, but what, what happened was later, and it's a host of other teachers, what happened later was some teachers was like, you know, um, I don't even want the money. And it wasn't because of no drama, because I wasn't even popular enough to get the drama. Well, one thing was for sure. Sometimes, you know, I also did lectures with Umar. You know, I did lectures with Umar Johnson. Shout out to the brother and, and uh, much appreciation to that brother. I hope he continues the good fight. And so what happened was, over time, when it was time to do lectures with people again, you know, uh, there was one time, King Simon could attest to this, I did, a, I, I did my opening, and what was happening is once I'm done with, with opening for 15, 20 minutes, the crowd leaves. And somehow I was being blamed for sabotaging events when I'm like, yo, you got to have the sauce too. You, 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 don't get mad at me. Yeah. Don't get mad at me. I didn't even know I had that drip at that time. I didn't know I had it. I was I was working on it, not knowing it was there. But people was already sold each of those first times. So when the second time, the third time came around, some of the the elders that I was building with, nah, man, you know, uh, it's too much distraction, confusion. People want to talk to them at the end. Da da da. I don't want no intermission. I'm gonna need six, seven hours to do what I do. And 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 you know, they also hurt their own pockets because. Things change, and the transition happens, technology happens. So another thing is people don't want to lose their DVD sales or whatever it is that they're doing. So in my personal experience, what I've been able to bear witness to is that what's hindering us from really taking this to the next level is the insecurity of leadership, and I know it has this inception in their financial status. And, and that's not a knock to people, but people... Even the teachers need their money, right? And so they got to make economical decisions if they really want to do something with someone 
if they believe it might compromise the integrity of their money. It's just like a basketball team. You might need that star player to get you over the hump to win a championship. But what if you are the star player on the team that needs that star player? Right. Are you willing to be the number two man on a winning team or be the number one man on a losing team? You, you feel what I'm saying? So that's a decision yeah. that you got to really make. Like, yo, my money's going to be short because this guy's more ball dominant. So what? in case we don't know, it's incentivized. So what that means is I might be getting paid to do at least 20 points, four rebounds, four assists. Okay, and if I and if I make the All Star game, I get a, a quarter million advance or something like that. But if if LeBron comes on my goddamn team, the hell with my twenty points, it's going down. And then right. now I gotta renegotiate contract deals. And now now I'm I'm a role player all of a sudden. Now I'm gonna win the chip. But you're getting more chips. What you get? So you're going to get so, more so, so here deals. We go. It comes down to what's our true priority is as a people. <laughs> is our true community priority to get the chip, meaning unity, justice, and repair. Is is that what we truly want? If it real is, tough. it don't matter who, bro. Let me tell you something. It's a real shit, like you said. My my pastor, Dr. Jamal Bryant, <laughs> contested this. After Freddie Gray, I did an organic. Uh, I drove down from New Jersey down to Freddie Gray to North and Penn, right where CVS was burning. I rented a red uh, megaphone from Party City and started demonstrating down there for Freddie Gray. End up leading this organic march down to City Hall. All this. At a Tamika Mallory contested this. My song was there. My song general was there in New York. BET bust a group of us from Baltimore to New York to do a solutions panel, right? With Mark Lamont Hill, Cousin Jeff, all of them. What's the solution after Freddie Gray for the Shout community? out to Lamont Hill, too. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. So somebody in the crowd was like, this is 2015. Somebody in the crowd of this panel, I'm sitting on the panel next to Mark Lamont Hill. they like, we need to build a Black Wall Street, yo. I said, yo, anybody want to build a Black Wall Street, you want group economics, see me after I'm working on something. It's 2015. 2015. But the Bloods and Crips come see me after the joint <laughs> from Baltimore. Okay. I start building down in Baltimore. I got the Bloods and Crips saying king and queen instead of nigga and bitch. And I got them doing $5 if you say the word nigga. Right? I, this wow. is the hood. Bones, who was head of the blood in Baltimore, West Side, can attest to this. King Bones. This real life. I then organized a community leadership meeting in Baltimore of all community leaders from blood, from, from, from gang activists, political activists, educators, politicians, et cetera. My pastor, he wasn't my pastor then. I didn't even know him then. Jamal Bryant was like the man in the city, you know what I'm saying, on a religious <laughs> table, right? <laughs> all that in Baltimore. You can attest to this. I get in front of a group of leaders. I say, I got a strategy. This before I named the Tulsa Real Estate Fund, before I even got the regulation from the SEC, before this is a thought and concept of how we can organize our dollars in an organized way to be able to practice group economics. So yes. I'm brainstorming what's now called the Tulsa Real Estate Fund back in 2015. Yes. I get in front of these leaders in Baltimore at the Best Western Hotel. I booked it myself. I invite everybody for free. I lay out the plan for group economics and what I think we can do to build the Black Wall Street model. <laughs> I then, in my three-piece custom suit, I then <laughs> get on my knees, bro, in the front of the room, talking to the leaders and say, listen, I know I'm in y'all city. This ain't my stomping grounds. I just want to build with the community. Yeah. Um, listen, I'm so, look, I'm, I'm coming to y'all with humility. Bro, I got down on my knees and said, look, it, I'm this humble. I don't got no ego. Let's just build. This ain't real. And so my point is, I'm giving a particular instance of when I did that, but that's what my spirit always carries. I'm not walking around groveling on my knees for, every, for, for everybody to see how humble I am. But yes. the point is, is that, but, but to the point of being humble enough to wash your servant's feet, being humble enough to be a servant leader, being humble enough to say, yo, I don't care who lead the movement. If I got to pay a support role in the movement, can we get the chip? The score That's is 450 right. years right. to zero. We, we've we been last place every year on year. And what we got to do to get the chip, and I'm, I'm willing to play my role, whatever capacity that be. And, and that got to that gotta act out outside of words. We got to be able to build right. together and have a real conversation outside of social media or likes or, or PR stunts or all the other shit that come with it. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm with that. And so, and I'm going I'm to respond to somebody in the chat as well. But let think? me also, let me also just tell you this. Let me say, I can't trust a, 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 a Negro, he ain't use that word, who go on Hollywood, you and Mayweather and Puff and all these people, da 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 So let me just explain something to you, good brother. 
we all can't be in the same exact length. And the scientists amongst us have to be so meticulous that we're able to envision what needs to be done and reconcile within ourselves if we if it's within our capabilities to do so or if it's in someone else's we usher them in or we commission them to do so so in my world i was blessed to be received by good brothers and sisters who are doing real good in our community and i'm able to connect with them and have amazing conversations and leverage powerful relationships to encourage the behavior of empowering our people. The problem often is that the people who have the knowledge don't may not necessarily have the resources and the people that have the resources may not necessarily have the knowledge. And yeah. it's sometimes there's a nice mix of the two on either side, right? But the problem is if the people lacking the resources castigate the people who have the resources, if the people who are lacking the resources, who feel they got the knowledge, but you might have skipped the part of the knowledge where if you do love your people, you love them even if you think they are in error. Because finding someone in error doesn't mean to condemn them. That means to find a way using love to uplift them. And that's the issue. Because you don't treat other people in the community who lack knowledge that way. I know you all pass drug dealers every day. I know you walk past prostitutes or pimps every day. I know you walk past gang members every day. You may not walk by all of them the same day, but damn it, you walk by them throughout the year on a month-to-month -month basis. And what you do on the internet to troll the people who have more resources than you, and what you won't do to the brothers and sisters that you see on the wrong path in your own community. You will not talk to them in the same manner. And the reason why I'm saying this is keep it real. Because if you, like, let's say, uh, I did a, I did a uh, dialogue with a brother named Cleo Menango, I think his last name, pardon me for said your name wrong. And the brother is a homosexual, right? I'm polygynous. I don't, uh, that's not my motive as far as relationships is concerned. However, if a person wants to have a conversation about it and he's of my community and we can really demonstrate progressively, I'm all for it. So because I still call on my brother, people condemn me. And I say, yo, hold on. He doesn't become less of my brother because he makes a decision that I don't agree with for my personal life. Because if that be the case, there's plenty of people doing things that I don't agree with in terms of my personal life. But and they're not any less my brother, so why should right. I make that brother any less my brother? You it's, feel it's, what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's his sin, and I'm using quotes worse than anybody else's. And that, I'm not saying what he, his lifestyle is that I already know, I'm not judge you, but I'm just saying <laughs> his decisions worse than anybody else's decisions. But yeah. that comes down to what was we, what we looking for? All we're looking and, for is to critique and look at flaws, or look at we're looking for we're looking for power, we're looking for uniformity, not unity. <laughs> unity is different than uniformity. That's we right. We all gotta think the same. We don't gotta dress the same. Like we don't have to have the same love relationships and all that. Is what do we agree on though? And and and, and it's to make sure we don't destroy communication lines when we need them most. So my vibe is, hey, listen, because I'm actually concerned, I'm gonna speak with the brother with love. I'm not gonna speak with him with condemnation because I'm gonna lose his attention and I won't be taken serious by a whole community that is part of a larger community that we tend to call black people that are called American Africans of the diaspora, all right? So I'm saying the way we approach our, when we, have, when we look at something in, in disdain, the way we communicate that is integral to how we move forward. So if you see people like myself Oh, yeah, he, I can't trust a person that's in Hollywood dealing with them Illuminati cats. Floyd don't do nothing for his people. Floyd does a lot for his people. He's just different. He don't want to post all the stuff he do for his people. Okay, can he do more for his people? Everyone can do more for their people. As we speak right now, everyone. It's not, I don't got the time to make excuses for another man. You know the type of man that I am? I've always said, if I'm so concerned with another man is not doing with his money, I'll reconcile within myself. I'm intelligent enough to get enough of that money to do and demonstrate on my own behalf. What I think it's easy to be like, yo, he needs to do that with his money. 
And it'd be a lot harder for you to say, yo, you know what? Let me bust my ass like he did to get where he's at in my capacity so I can then see if I'm the philanthropist that I claim he should be. So I don't, I don't Listen, like outside of his money, with your current time and resources, what are you <laughs> doing with, for the community? I don't care if you work a nine to five job, you don't have the extra resources. Are you volunteering at the local domestic violence hey, shelter? Are you mentoring a youth in the community? Are you picking hey, up trash in your community? What the talk. hell are you doing the person in the mirror outside of trying to objectify somebody and, else? And I, and I got to ask, has more people employed more black people than him? He's, he, got a, he, he makes a concerted effort to employ his own people. And in the event one isn't available, he may employ somebody of another race because he fucks with everybody. But, you know, I know him personally. That's family. Son is pro-black. I don't care what no one tell me. He's for the cause. I don't care what no one tell me. But guess what? The way we got to start moving, if y'all saw the spook that sat by the door, we got to move a certain way, man. We can't be playing these kind of games. Everybody can't be in the forefront with on the chopping block and shit for, for someone to get locked up. Oh, there you go. Because all we're going to do is call him a political prisoner of conscience, and, and then, then, then rappers is going to put... Free, free my nigga, brother, polite, and I don't want that. Right. You know hey, look at, I don't want hey, nobody that. gonna take care of your family while they going e while, while you going either. <laughs> you, you feel what I'm saying? So that's why programs have to be in, be put in place. And if we demonstrate as a community, and let me and let me tell y'all this again: if if ten thousand of us who didn't like what our black celebrities are doing that have five dollars a week, let's do that. There's there's this 327 million estimated people living in america and black people purportedly make up 14 percent so we know we're over 30 million in general in this populace that we call in uh the united states of america that being the case there has to be clusters of us that feel the same way we feel about whether it be white people there have to be ten thousand people that agree about white people that have five dollars a week they gotta be ten thousand people that think Floyd should spend his money a certain way, and he's not to have five dollars a week. Not the people that don't. Twenty dollars a month, five dollars a week. So if that be the case, do you know ten thousand people putting up five dollars a week for ten months straight is two million dollars? It would be nice if he donated two million for something that you believe in, right? But if ten thousand of you are complaining about the same thing, you have the two million too in ten months. And in fact. The 10,000 of you exist several times over in clusters throughout America. So we have millions of dollars at our disposal because 10,000 of us have $5 a week. That's always bitching, moaning, and groaning about something. Another 10,000 of us that don't bitch, moan, and groan, but agree with idealistically the same things politically or sociopolitically, they have $10,000 and $5 a week. So when my brother says, hold on, Garvey raised how much money? $800,000? The equivalent of what? 11 million plus. And then he raises eight and a half. And I know, and I'm, I'm going to tell you, brother, we got to talk the real talk. And you shouldn't talk it out talking. Then you can get on it. <laughs> Let's be for real. Don't know. We got, we got a thing in us where, yo, Jay raised eight and a half million. Now we want, so where's the money at, Jay? The second you say it, I, I can feel someone like, oh, so I'm supposed to give him money when he already raised eight and a half million dollars? It, it, burns us to know somebody else in our own community is holding our money. We don't feel a way about Wells Fargo holding our bread. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to show you something. <laughs> Shout out to my brother and friend, Kevin Coney, who is the CEO of the biggest black bank in America. This is my Harriet Tubman One United card. This is a black bank. I don't play mm -hmm. games. You have to talk all that crazy talk you want to talk. And guess what? When I build with the homie, we brainstorm and we talk that talk and we put things into action. But you wouldn't know. You know why? Because sometimes I got to sag my pants a little lower. I can't make it go where you see my buttocks. I'm not into that. But sometimes I got to wear my hat a little backwards, slanted, and my pants a little lower because that's the world that I'm in. Because in that world, your wardrobe is that. Your wardrobe. Sometimes I got my cultural regalia on and my security, bulletproof vest, guns and everything. And then other times, because I, I, it's, I'm going to be out of place with all that shea butter and pics and everything and dashikis and in a different set. <laughs> and it doesn't mean you got you to gotta change because they demand change. It means if I want to be effective and it doesn't compromise my morality, I'm going to wear a wardrobe 
so I can be effective in that setting to accomplish the task I have to accomplish or to be received because it's a language as well. Yeah. Even if I'm speaking, I want to be received by the people. I don't want to be a distraction to the people that I want to uplift or communicate or impart wisdom to. So like I'm telling you, look, this ain't just talk. You know, we're we on a conversation now with a historical black man, okay? A historical black man who's accomplished a great deal because of his personal genius. I say personal because his genius isn't taught in schools, okay? Because no one's going to teach you how to have the power that they already have so you can compete with their children. It's, not, it's just a no-no. OK, but I'm not against school. If you go there to be a resource to your community, then get credential. But nonetheless, I tell you not to digress, but I'm proud that I live in 2020 and I can hold a card that has Harriet Tubman on it. Mm -hmm. okay? And it was, it was I had to pick. You know, I teach black woman is my God. I don't say she's your God. So stop complaining, men. <laughs> she's my Lord and Savior. Personal. She's the one that told me to read and change my life, and it ultimately did. So she's my Lord and Savior. I bear witness to her. She is the true and living God in my life. I didn't say mm. for you to worship her, and I didn't say you have to start worshiping women. I'm saying I'm in a very comfortable position when the when the Christian women and you holler at the Christian woman, and they be like, "Oh no, baby, uh, Jesus is enough for me." He woke me up, and that, she, she sounded like she in an intimate relationship with something. I'm happy I could be in an intimate relationship with my God. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm happy that I got a black bank. I have several accounts with. I'm happy I'm friends with the CEO. Mm -hmm who's conscious, and I'm happy that they have nothing but black images at your disposal, so yeah. every time you pull out your card to swipe, do you know the face of a racist cracker when I got Harriet Tubman on my card? You know what I'm saying? It just Yo, okay. so I, listen, I can't wait till our doors open and you come visit the Black House, man. When you walk in the doors, King, when you come on the campus, the grounds of the Black I House, and you pull up to that 30,000 square foot building, look like a spaceship. We got all our ancestors inside on the walls. Got all our founders, over 8,600 names subscribed to all, that, all our investors. We talking about... There's we come a long way, way man. Listen, I, I can't... I, I, personal invite. I can't wait till you come. We're we going to do something there, too. We're going to do an event. You got to do that, brother. But, but, Yo, but listen, but, as I, much as we can say we need to, to do, let's take, let's take three to five minutes to celebrate work that has been done. I don't want to, I don't, we would be remiss if we don't acknowledge the work that has been done because I want to tell you guys something. We, we, we get on our own cases because we know a great deal can be done, should be done. And we know the people that can help, including ourselves, and more can be done. But let's come out for air for three, five minutes. And let's just smile because there are ah, some things. Right, right. Stretch, stretch, stretch it out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> smile, smile. Shout out to the brother Killer Mike. Shout out to Dame Dash. Shout out to Floyd Mayweather. I don't care how you look at Puffy, Jay Z. Shout out to because in their own individual capacities. Shout out to Obama. You may not like him, but you know what? I'm gonna tell you this: him going into presidency did more for us than any damn thing he did in there. Listen, Just what, be, what, some be no Tulsa real estate fund without President Obama. He passed the Jobs Act that allowed us to bring over 9,700 investors together to raise eight and a half million brother. dollars Say in real life. Again. Say it again. Because, because you know Obama what? Obama gave us the, the, the Trojan horse called the Jobs Act that made it eligible for non-accredited investors, those making less than a, than a quarter million a year or net worth less than a million dollars to invest in a public company and be able to pull our dollars together to be able to run a multi-million dollar real estate fund, one of about 47 real estate crowdfunds in the history of the country, first black-owned real estate crowdfund in the history of America, President Obama set that up. And you know, for the Negro that's in there, you know, I like they bank, but you know, black banks got to do better. Than that. First of all, it's the biggest black bank in America. Second of all, let me explain something to you guys. You know why health food costs more money? Because there's a higher demand for the junk food. So when something is rarity, when you're dealing with rarity, it tends to be more difficult when you're dealing with a rarity. Well, I'm going to tell you this. What does that got to do? What food got to do with this? Because it's a rarity for the black dollars to circulate in the community. So because it's sense of damn rarity, then guess what? It's going to take some time to iron out some kinks. But damn it, my, credit, my debit card works. My credit card works. Bro. My, 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 my life insurance irrevocable trust is lit. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? And it's assigned to an insurance policy that I could borrow against. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mine too. The cash value of the death benefit. Look, I got Zelle attached to my shit. I got Cash App attached to it. God damn it. The customer service line take a little longer. Negro, just take it because it's black. Shit. God damn. <laughs> Complaining. Yo, it's, it's, we, want, we want perfect over progress. We ain't never had shit and want perfect over progress. Look, we went through over. 1,100 years of involuntary servitude that is yet to be addressed in the public school system per the trans-sub-Saharan slave trade. The trans-sub-Saharan slave trade, they made us out to be double castrated. That's why all the Arabs and everybody over there, they got Negroid features because they will rape our women continuously and make sure we cut it by not only cutting off our penis, but also cutting off our scrotum. They double castrated us and made us out into eunuchs. Listen to what I'm telling you. And they did this, not for 100 years, but over 1,100 years as we had to walk through the hot sands and the coals for the shriners to now replicate the ritual that's all about your bondage and your involuntary servitude for them to talk about they giving you higher knowledge when you go into the shrine for your 30 Four to 40th degree. Listen to me talk. Because after that, the white man comes with a better, a better model for slavery, a better business model that the Africans say, God damn it, uh, free me, white man, from this slavery, and I'll go into your bondage. And he gave us a better brand, a better business working model for slavery. And we, man, we, we were ready to fight. And we was head over heels just to go into another bondage for damn near 500 years. So you put it together, we've been in bondage for almost 2,000 years. We've only been free technically for as long as plastic has come about. You probably even realize that, that, that non-biodegradable anti-Earth stuff. But anyway, that's another conversation. We've only <laughs> been free for about 70, 80 years. After 2,000 damn years of slavery and subjugation and double castration. We got a bank. That shit is ingenious, too. It's impossible, too. It's impossible. It is also impossible. We are doing the impossible today. I want to give love, praises, and much kudos to One United Bank. Love and praises to One United Bank. Love and praises to, to Puffy and Mayweather and Jay-Z, to Whitney Houston that passed, to Michael Jackson to Prince, to, to my brother here, Jay Morrison, to Harriet Tubman, to Sojourner Truth, to Coretta Scott King, to, to, to all the family that put in this pain, okay? Because I'm going to tell you this, and everybody I didn't mention, Queen of Four, Dr. Sabi, yo, everybody, salute to you, because after 2,000 years, 1,100 plus in the trans-sub-Saharan slave trade, only to be brought over here through John Hawkins by the commission of Queen Elizabeth in 1946, 56, 66. They was tearing our ass up and, and taking us, kidnapping us. You want to call slavery as kidnapping first. Then they enslaved us. And then they took away your language and told you it was dumb when you couldn't pass their test in the school system. They told you it was ignorant when they took away your language and you couldn't pronounce their words by their accent. They told you you were lazy after they raped, robbed, and pillaged you, stripped you of your resources. And then when you didn't want to work for them, they said you're lazy and you need to go back home to Africa. And then when you want to go back home to Africa, they create all sorts of tricks like child support and, and, and tax problems, okay? And, and, and divorce stipulations you know nothing about if you're too far behind in your taxes and they take away your opportunity to leave this country because they don't really want you to leave even when they say it. It's a love that they hate and a hate that they love. And then you turn around and when a black man or a black woman erects something that should be imperfect for several of any of a number of reasons that are obvious and not obvious, you will really sit here and disrespect the hard work, the blood and the tears and the labor of your ancestors to get us to arrive at this point and complain because you was on customer service for a black bank in 2020. This is the stuff that makes you get called the N-word all the damn time. And the original <laughs> nigga is the white man. The white man, it takes a nigga to make a nigga. The white man is the original nigga. And I go around calling him a nigga. And when I'm in an elevator by myself, I don't care if it's an old white woman. I 
hide in the corner. I go on my wallet and I say, please take my money because they are the ones with the history of stealing people's land, stealing people's language, raping other people, stripping people of the right to have a family, making brothers have sex with their own mothers, making brothers have sex with their own brothers, making me watch my wife have to have sex with my best friend. They are the ones who took your woman that was conceiving in her ninth month before that child was supposed to come out and tie her to two different horses so those horses could go in two different directions. They did that. But you go in your community and you are afraid of each other. You go in your community and you want to kill each other. But you sit in that elevator with that old white lady unsuspecting that she is the goddamn criminal the whole time. You see, y'all want me to be like this, but I can't be like this. When I'm <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Don't think, don't get it twisted that because I'm not wearing different hats that I done lost my goddamn mind based on the hat that I got on. Don't get it twisted. There's a time and a place. We building with each other, and Jay bringing this shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he got the energy. He bringing it out of me. I, I, I attempt to tone it down so I can kick some more doors down so I can give us more opportunities. But, you know, every now and then we got to have a heart-to-heart -heart so y'all know that I'm still uh, here with you. And I ain't never retract a statement that I ever said on the Internet about our community or what other races have done. And I ain't never going to do it. Snoop, I love you. But you shouldn't, well, you know, he should apologize because that was a sister. Only because it was a sister. <laughs> just apologize. But Let you know what, though, King? It, it really boiled down to, like, a lot of what you addressed tonight. Now I'm sweating. It, it, look, I know, right? I want to let you breathe. <laughs> but, yo, you know what it boiled down to? It boiled down to our spirit, bro. This is a spiritual thing. Like, like and you, you mentioned that word love earlier. And love is an action word. So, like, me, I come to the table, and many of us, we get on this online shit, and we get to the critiquing and the and, and, and the trolling and this, but you know, we're, not after, we're, not, we're not operating out of the spirit of love, bro. Like, like we, we we supposed to be trying to solve our own problems. Like, that's my thing. My thing is there's definitely a dual accountability. They they accountable for all our trauma and atrocities. But we got to be accountable to ourselves for what we can do for ourselves that we got the ability to do for ourselves. And so this... This backwards, like this backbiting, self-hating, like this ain't good enough, the bank ain't good enough, the fund ain't good enough, the leader not good enough. We gotta look, we gotta look ourselves in the mirror and look at what's our body of work, what are we contributing, and at the end of the day, do we want the chip? Are we sitting here to critique the team, or do we really yes. want the chip and how we can how we contribute into the chip to our unity, our justice and repair? I'm solutions driven. All the extra solutions shit, bro, driven. like bro, body of Woo! work, like. Let's work. Let's say that again. Solution driven. Not That's this it. weak stuff. Oh, the white man's the devil, brother. He hold me down. I can't go to my wife and tell her, I'm sorry, baby. I can't go to none of my wives right now and say, hey, women, I want, we got to huddle. There's the children <laughs> in the room. I just need to let y'all know that the reason why I suck at being successful is because the white man, the white man is holding me back. I might as well say, hey, you know, um. Let me call the, the, the local white man so y'all can be in a relationship with him. Because I got self-respect. And damn it, even if I was lying, I'm going to turn this shit into the truth. Because I'm not about to come before <laughs> the presence of my beautiful, melanated women of my household, mothers of my children, and tell them that they got to tell their children that their father was so weak that he told me after you children were born that he was popping out. Because the white man is so strong. Mm. So you see, I would never accredit someone with having so much power over me that I would let down my family. All of you online right now, no more excuses. Right now, this is a, yo, listen. There's certain things that happen in crisis that's amazing. The world powers start uniting because they need each other, right? But unfortunately... <laughs> It may not work to our advantage. Well, at least there's peace amongst them for, for now, momentarily, right? But listen to this. The beauty is there's things that we can invest in that we never had the opportunity to invest in. And the beauty of it is we're more reluctant to troll or be rude or disrespectful because now we're thinking about what tomorrow looks like. Like, really, like, tomorrow we might turn the news, oh, 20,000 people officially dead. Like, we don't know what they're going to say tomorrow. Right. So day, we're on a day-to-day -day as a black community, which means we don't have time to waste because if you remember what happened in Katrina, 
What happened to Katrina? We want to complain it. And, and Kanye had to come out. Uh, uh, shout out to him, too. Uh, uh, Bush don't care about black people, right? And just to make that statement, he was shaking. He was scary. You know, he ain't in the conscious community. He ain't one of the whole tech kings like y'all be making fun of us, right? He ain't one of us, because one of us would have been fast if, if given the opportunity, and then we'd have got carried out by security, right? So what I'm saying is we saw in Katrina we didn't get our fair shake and how black people were done, even though there was emergency funding and everything. Okay, we also saw what the Red Cross has done. Okay, we saw we got the short end of the stick several times over. So what you guys think? Because ain't no vaccine coming for us right now. I, whether you pro vaccine or you against vaccines, the reality is by the time they administer one, it's going to be a year and change out. So you can sit there and fill your fridges with high fructose corn syrup, red number 40, blue number five, yellow number six, all you're going to want to do once you're locked in the house, not exercising, consuming, all of those variant forms of crack, you're going to want to riot. Because what sugar do is going to bring you on a decline. And, and crack ain't nothing but a, a, a condensed bag in a 12-12 slim of domino sugar. That's all that is, refined sugar. The brain doesn't discriminate amongst white potato, amongst white rice, amongst refined sugar, and crack and cocaine. Only thing it knows, you're taking it in different volumes. So you can be in a bowl of rice right here or doing a line of coke over there. The brain's still interpreting you did a line of coke one way or the other. It's real talk. You're just taking it in a lesser volume. So what I'm saying is this is the time right now where people have no choice but to be in their houses. I know you guys love 2K and everybody's like, yo, we're going to play the video game. That's what they want you to do. I'm not saying it's wrong to play games. I'm not saying it's wrong. But what I'm saying is you need to really start appropriating days, the time in your lives, start compartmentalizing and saying how much hours am I going to dedicate to study? Because normally your biggest excuse is you don't have time to study. You don't have time to read. The videos are too damn long. You conscious brothers, we talking. <laughs> right? Like you can't watch a clip at a time, a clip at a time. So now you have this time at your disposal. You should be studying to prepare for the rest of your life because right. we don't have the time to to squander like that. We don't, yo, right yo, now. Yo, we got to use this right here. Two and a half hours. Like, what can we put together for the sake of our people and who else would be willing to be involved? That's the conversation we had on our own personal time. It wasn't prepared. It wasn't a plan. We just were speaking. And eventually, at some point in the conversation, we were worried about each other. We was worried about each other's family. And we was worried about all our other brothers and sisters because we know how they do us. Stop acting like, just like we can study the stock market and we can tell you inevitably that on a, every seven-year interval, it goes up, it goes down. But And we was about two years late, a year and a quarter, three quarters late, pardon me. But we, we were late. But the down happened. One way or the other, whether coronavirus came or not, a recession is due. It's just the behavior of the market. If you study the S&P index, you will clearly see this is what happens. The trend. So what I'm saying is, those of us that know this, we are supposed to forecast this to the rest of y'all like the weathermen, like the prophets of this day and time, but not prophetical because it's so divine that we're someone we're downloading this information from the stars because God is talking through us vicariously. No, I'm saying because of the level of knowledge and studying deterministic algorithm, knowing patterns, the mathematical mind and genius that is the black man and the black woman, we should be able to see what's already coming because it has happened several times. This is not going to be any right. different. You're going to be right. left and only the smart, pardon me, only the intelligent and the genius will be able to thrive after this. But what's going to happen to the bulk of our community? So what we were saying is because of the Internet, we actually have an opportunity to, we, to struggle less. Because mm. of the Internet, thousands of you are online right now and will be online later to see this. Make sure y'all share this video. Make sure you follow my brother here. Make sure you follow me here. And make sure you unfollow anyone that isn't serious about the liberation of the black community. If someone is over there talking ill of any brother or sister on this date, remove yourself from that type of information because it won't pay your bills and it won't heal you. You see, you made fun of me when I homeschooled my children, but now the children can't go to school. You made fun of me when I talked about home births, and you need to have the girls and all that. But now you may have to 
have home births because the hospitals are overloaded. They begging nurses and other practitioners that's licensed that don't want to go, that you have to go, and soon they're going to make it a federal mandate that they got to go, even though they're afraid to deal with sick people, and you don't really want to bring your babies in a hospital where the populace of the hospital is so overcrowded and it's overcrowded with people in the worst condition because they only want people with the worst conditions in the hospital. That's not a place to give birth to a newborn in this world, even if you got in because they're running out of space right now. You're going to have to go back to the way it used to be and people was giving birth to their children in homes less than 100 years ago. Naturally, it's around the same damn time as plastic again. It's for real. Self-sufficient. <laughs> Bro, th th this, this is why I got respect for you, King. Like, listen, I already know what it's hitting for. And we get so caught up in, like, a lot of times we be ahead of our time. So you might get the, 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 the clowning or, or the this, or they, they, may, they, 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 they joked on you for this because you're moving outside the norm. But now we see ain't no real norm. They, they, just, they, they, just, they call they me just, a nigga Amish. They call me all, I'm like, yo, I use lights in my crib. I'm not Amish. <laughs> <laughs> It is disrupting the whole system. But yo, I gotta I, I, look. I'm, I'm about forty minutes, uh, twenty minutes late for a call. But I want to say, oh this. damn, nah, nah, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's, it it's had to happen. But I want give us five everybody. more minutes. And you close. You close it out. Give us five minutes of your genius, King. I'm right, sorry, right, you're right, right. yeah, nah, I'm going to tangent. I'm just. I'm hyped that somebody is is listening. To someone that I highly respect and revere. Is, is hearing me out. So I, I'm just right, listening. right, right. He's like, yo, I got to get this on my chest. I got to get this on <laughs> You bringing it out of me. <laughs> yo, I feel like that too, though. No, nah, no, nah, that's love. But no, nah, I want to say to everybody for real, like, uh, one thing, King, I'm planning for next week. So I'm telling you and everybody that's watching, thousands watching. I'm there. Next week, early heads up. Thank you. Early heads up is, is listen, I like pulling cards. So everybody thought that unity shit. Next week, I got something. Everybody I know, listen, I got everybody in my phone. Like, damn near 90% of the <laughs> black conscious influencers, I got their number in my Woo! phone. And I'm hitting everyone for something next week. And I already know who's going to show up. I already know Riz Islam going to show up. I already know Derek Grace going to show up. I already know Brother Benex going to show up. I already know my salon going to show up. I already know Zeke uh, from New York, Detroit going to show up. I already, Keep I already, it going. I already listen, I'm hitting all the, all the influencers with a body of work that I'm built with. And we're going to come together. And we're going to do what we got to do. Only reason why Tulsa happened, bro, was intentionality. King, I just did it on purpose. That's it. It's like, we say this unity shit, let's just do this shit on purpose. That's it. Yes. Like, so, and it, I do the same thing for, for, for our individuals. Like, yo, whatever it is we say we want for our life, just go get this shit on purpose. Like, stop making up excuses. Excuses are the things that we use to bail us out from doing the work. Because now we can say, it's because I grew up to a single dad, <laughs> a single mom, while I was a when right. I was young. I was, my mom almost had an abortion. I, you know, I was a high school dropout, I was a three time felon. All that shit is just excuses for you not to have to do the work to overcompensate for whatever hand you were dealt. No matter what, your life still got to turn out either for the good or mediocre or for the bad. And your family, going, your legacy, your heirs are going to benefit from what you did or did not do. No matter, what, no matter what hand you were dealt, no matter what white man did what. No matter what mom did what, no matter what crap academic did what, war on drugs did what, no matter what trauma did what, no matter what redlining, Cointel Pro, vacancy, peonage, sharecropping, slave code, no matter what happens, we still got an end result and a responsibility to our heirs and to our last name to see where the Morrison's going to be at in the year 3010. Like, that's my responsibility as a CEO of my last name, is to be the visionary and leader of my last name. Yes. Where my last name goes or does not go is a direct reflection of my leadership. Woo! So one thing I want to give everyone is a resource we just did, totally free crisis class course to give you the fundamentals of foundation and inspiration for this time and for your future times. And if y'all go to jmorrisonrealestate.com, I got a free one hour and 10 minute lecture for you. jmorrisonrealestate.com. It's just a crisis class. It's hey, just a foundation. Give it to us one more time. Give it to us one more time. Jay Morrison, J A Y, J Morrison Real Estate dot com. And you said it's free. free. You said it's free. So it's no excuses. Minutes. So you gotta lock in. J M A and chill. But yo, it's a free class that really gives you a fundamental understanding of how Take you as much free classes as possible. That's the hour we in. Load up, because when this load up, when this, rack up. When this subsides. When this learn subsides. how to survive and thrive through any crisis. Like yo, I'm a crisis expert. Like, Woo! as a welfare kid, as a Section 8 kid, as a high school dropout, as someone that was homeless at 15, 
someone that was came through Rikers, came through Upstate, came through ECI, came through Annandale, came through Cumberland, Maryland, came through Baltimore DLC, survived parole, probation, house monitoring, ankle bracelet, <laughs> work release in real life, survived South Tempest Springfield in North New Jersey in real life to be the CEO of the first black-owned real estate crowdfunding in the history of America, Jay Morrison Academy, over 100,000 students, Inc. 500, two years in a row, number 588 fastest growing companies in the country, number 10 top educational companies in the country, according to Inc. 500, in real life. Talk I that, talk. Crisis. Real life. In real life. No made-up shit. No made-up shit. <laughs> I'm talking about body of work. <laughs> real body talk. Work. Not, not I'm proud of you, man. I'm talking about body of work. I'm talking Super about celebrity you, realtor, man. NBC celebrities, NBC's real estate expert for the Today Show, in real life, 2012. Check me out. Like, so I'm saying that, not to be bodacious or, or braggadocious, I'm saying that I'm a crisis expert. Oh, man, this shit's freezing. Come on, this, was, this probably, this is a classic live, people. It got to be his internet. There you go. He's back. He froze that a little. That's my team calling me. I'm like 30, I'm almost 30 minutes late. But, yo, I got to leave, yo. Can you not do more of this? Yeah, That's this it. was powerful, man. This was powerful. We got to do more of this. This black love yeah, in the bro. flesh. Yeah, all, all, already. There was so much we could do together, man. Our unity is stronger than the atomic bomb. I appreciate all the work you've been doing, being bold, being fearless, um, challenging us, <laughs> being provocative in your, in your thought, in your language, in your moves. I get it. You're being provocative. You're challenging our mind frame. And, yo, we got to level up our level of maturity and spirituality. We yes, yes, clownish. yes. We don't clown them folks like that. We get too clownish on our own. We got right. to raise our level of love, maturity, spirituality. King, salute, appreciate it. Man, this, this, this chemistry is, yo, I'm high off of this, brother. This yo, was, I this still need the help lesson, though, from my, from my audience. I know, I know. I need to get to the help. I, need I don't the help know. You, you had me on my, my all-black boots. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna double back, yo. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> hey, make sure y'all take that brother free class, man. Make sure you save this too. Save this. In oh man, we, and, and anybody that's online, do us a favor in case anything may take place. Save it as much as you can. I don't mind if you repost it. Do what you gotta do. Repost as much as you can. Save it. Uh, I want to get a copy of it. Throw it on YouTube. Do what you can. If you gotta film it from your dang phone. Film it. If you got to film it from your camera and upload it, do it because we need to archive this. And sometimes weird things go on because right now I can't label, I can't use captions, I can't put a title on none of my videos, I can't like anyone's page or communicate with them if they got a large following. I can't even like my own page on Instagram. And on Facebook, only if I do a live can my people share my information. If I upload a picture of my daughter, I, Facebook is going to tell you that is against their policy. So between Instagram and Facebook, I have a great deal of restrictions. So that's why if you see videos going up with no caption, that's because I can't even put a title on it and I can't even like my own video. So I want you guys to do what you got to do. Take this information and run with it. But I also have IamBrotherPolite.app. Go over there for the free classes and notifications. And I have a crisis in the gold class coming up. That one costs. But I got a free stock class going on, securities class going on tomorrow on Instagram. I'm going to upload it. It's going to be around 2 p.m. when the market is open. I'm going to be buying stocks live and doing my thing. Okay, so let's make it happen. On Facebook, I'm going to do it again and go live. But I'm going to buy some shares of some companies. I'm going to explain why I'm buying it, and I'm going to break it down. Okay, American Airlines is at $10.30 last Friday. I bought it at <laughs> the market price. You feel what I'm saying? And, and I mean, listen. Listen, it's going to be a lot of information tomorrow. So on Facebook, I'm going to do it at 3 o'clock. But on Instagram, you're going to see an upload at 2 o'clock. I'm going to let it marinate for an hour. Then I'm going to do a live feed on Facebook.com forward slash Brother Polite. But to get all your updates, go to IamBrotherPolite.app, spell polite, P-O-L-I-G-H-T, pride, optimism, love, integrity, gallant, honesty, and trust. Make sure you do that. Uh, put in your phone number, your email, and everything. We got you locked in, and you can get your updates. But, yeah, Brother Jay and I is going to be doing some serious work. We're going to be giving out a plethora of free information to prepare you so you don't come out of this situation still attempting to survive. We damn near went into this attempting to survive. We're in here thinking about how we're going to survive. and we come out, we might be out of the survival talk. You feel what I'm saying? That we don't want to do. 
I love you guys. I had a great time. Tomorrow, be there for class. I'm going to do that upload. Make sure you share that upload tomorrow. When you say, how can we be a part of this movement? How can we effectively mobilize the masses? In this day and time, virtually, you have a say. You can push the movement just by sharing videos. In fact, when you're done, share, share the last video and the second to last video that I was teaching. Share those videos to at least five to seven people. Don't feel no way. Share the damn thing. Let it, let it go viral. Share it with people that need to know it. Share it with five people you know and share it with two random people you don't know. That's what we do. That's how we get the information out when they attempt to stop it. We got to push the truth out. We talking about this virus. We need to go viral. That's what we need to do. Push the right information out so it takes certain precedents where it winds up being the norm and pushing BS is no longer the norm, no longer acceptable, okay? In this hour, more people want information and they want truth because they're nervous. Give it to them. They're waiting for it. They don't know where to go. Some people haven't come across myself or my good brother. Share the videos, okay? Look at them last two videos and share them. Share them like a damn wildfire, wildfire and, and, and make other people catch the fire, okay? And that's, that's what we're going to do. It's going to be a complete movement. And tomorrow, definitely share that video because, again, it's free and it's very resourceful. Because remember, during times of recessions, during times of these bear markets, people that understand the nature of a market going so low, they come out amassing wealth. They would have amassed wealth. Because one thing we know, we can't predict how low things will get. But the deterministic algorithms have shown us every time it, this happens, the market shoots back up. And we could be on the receiving end. We just got to know about preferred stock with no dissolution and if we can insure it. We got to know about certain little things. If there's a, ch a change or turning over of CEOs and if the CEO is coming from inside the company or outside the company. These things matter to determine the health of the company if you want to invest in it. And then what companies are giving out the dividends, okay? And then what ratio are the dividends in respect to the actual shares? And if a, if, and if a company is giving out dividends, dividends that are, uh, they, they, had to, they paid more dividends than they made profits, then that's a dearth investment. And then you don't want to deal with that. You know, you want to deal with a, a company that's healthy and it's giving you dividends. Uh, maybe America Online is like 1.1 1 .1 on the dividend level. So every $100 is $11, but the shares are about $10. But when it shoots back up, that's a whole nother conversation. And then you create an income out of the dividends. You create an income out of dividends, okay? And then that's how you make money no matter what, whether that stock is kind of teetering on the same dollar amount or not for a long period of time. What you can do, you can reinvest your dividends. And that's the real drip. People always talk about the drip. Wait till I do what I do tomorrow. I'm going to show you what the real drip is. Okay, that's dividend reinvestment program. That's how you make an income off of companies that pay you to purchase or buy in. This com type of conversation we got to go in, man. You know I don't play no games because I'm too smart to be broken. It costs way too much money to be poor. Brother Polite, I pinned it to the top. You, you see it pinned? It's I am Brother Polite. That's an I, not an L. That's I am brotherpolite.app. That is the website. Is the website to the app that will be coming out. I am brother P O L I J S T dot app. This was amazing, man. Please save the video and bootleg this mother. <laughs> bootleg it. Put it everywhere. And salute to that brother, man. That's a brilliant brother, man. I'm so proud of him, man. I'm very proud of that brother, man. He has my full support. Very proud of him. Very proud of him. <laughs> there goes the culprit. <laughs> I'm ready now. <laughs> I'm ready now. Go ahead. <laughs> but yeah, this was an amazing, amazing lecture. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to go outside real quick and close out. This is the lesson. You know, this is this is where I do the classes. That's the projector. And I hit it on the wall right here. Pow. That's the chessboard. You know, I'm too smart to be broke. And it costs way too much money to be poor. 
projector. Look at that. That's funny. You gotta learn how to play chess off the board. When I talk about playing chess off the board, I be saying cash is king, credit is queen. Okay? So nobody wanna lose their queen now. You don't wanna lose your queen when you're on that board. I hear you, baby. <laughs> Man, I gotta, I gotta come out and get some air. Ooh. I was, haven't done my taxes yet. I was too turned up. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I had to get some light, man. Get some, some nice evening air. Thank y'all so much, man. I had mad fun. I love to share this information. Damn, that was fire, man. That was some straight fire. Ether. <laughs> I got some clips come out of that. I got to keep this and, and find those clips and do what I got to do. Yeah, so peace to y'all. I don't even want to get off. Y'all know how I do. My wife's going to be like, yeah, we know you got to say goodbye, and I love you for like 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, support that, brother, man. He's a good brother. You know, uh, be sure to like our Facebook.com page, but understand this. I'm transferring everybody over to the website, so make sure you you subscribe to the website, the I am brother polite dot app. That's a website to the app. When the app comes out, then we'll let you know so you can uh, subscribe to the app. Because what's going to happen is I want to make sure I don't got no limitations to connect with my people when it's time for those free classes. I don't like the games being played where I can't title my videos. I can't like my videos. And if somebody has a large file and I can't like theirs, I can only DM people and then receive DMs. All that is trash. I don't like it. Even if you look at the flyer for this video, I can't write no caption. I'm surprised they even let me tag the brother. So, you know, it is what it is. But I want to be able to be free and talk that talk. For as long as I want to talk that talk, share my free classes and larger limps than the 10 minutes that's on Instagram. But it's, Instagram has been resourceful. You know, it's, it's having its time when they start treating me funny because I'm not even talking about doing nothing negative. I'm just... I just be, you know, I ain't do my taxes yet. I'm too turned up. <laughs> that's all it is, man. And that's why I be chilling because this is in my heart. And I got I got stuff that I'm doing and I know I don't I don't bite my tongue for nobody, so I be just chilling. I gotta chill with Jay. Jay gonna make me go really back in my bag, man, during this hour. And when they start really treating us like it's the sixties out here, I know me. I don't care how much bread I got. I know who I am. I know how I give it up. I know how I really feel about this. I got enough knowledge about how they're you know, pressing us for so many years. I know, I know, I've learned so much things. That direction of where I'm going with my life and I want to make sure our people are organized first before I start doing that type of stuff so I'll be I'll be in my feelings for real when it comes to what they did to us I promise you worth everything I love I'll be in I'll be in my feelings I'm telling you I'll be and I get in my feelings then I want to go in my bag that's what I'm saying word 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 so anyway anyway his love, man. Thank y'all so much. You guys are a blessing. A blessing. You guys have been a blessing. You guys have been a blessing. And I'm out. <laughs> Word. I don't even, it's like to the point sometimes I don't even want to go there. And like I said, you can sleep on a lot of the people that that's doing their thing out there in the world and our community because they're not really saying something. But I'm going to tell you a lot of our brothers and sisters they tired of a lot of crap too. Trust me. And they know what it is. Trust me. Trust me. A lot of our brothers and sisters, they know what's up. They know what's up. Word. People tired of it, man. And and guess what? Sometimes you gotta almost like some of the bad times just so 
it could wake some of our people up that's in some Alice in Wonderland fairy tale type of shit, thinking that we all the way free and that sometimes some people need to be bopped over their head or, or lose their job unfairly and then when they tell you they're giving out money, you realize you're not the group of people that they're giving the money to. Sometimes, it, unfortunately, you gotta be like that because some of our people really believe in all this shit. They be really trusting this. And that's, that's why I take it easy because I know it's too much for social media. My videos be going a quarter million, half a million, like in a week or two or sometimes a few days. I know I got to be easy. <laughs> Peace. Let me chill before I say something. And I ain't got no damn page tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me chill. <laughs> Let me chill, man. Yeah, when I when I go on my back, it gets crazy. Tired of being tired. <laughs> tired of being tired. I hear that. They got me yawning. That's crazy. All you can see is my teeth. I love being black. Or what they call black. I love being melanated. I'd rather say that. I love being melanated. I love when all you can see is my teeth. It speaks to the... the, the Incredible way I've been taking care of my teeth, and it speaks to the beautiful skin that I got. <laughs> Peace of the family, man. Peace of the family. <laughs> Y'all funny. Go ahead. Peace. I see what you're saying over there about paying the bills. You funny. I love you guys. Go to that app right now or share some videos. Share the last two videos I did on the coronavirus, whatever. Like, go to them last two videos I did. Go on a sharing frenzy. Give five people it. And then two people you don't know, random, that you think should get it. Two celebrities, two two uh, Instagram models, you know. Find a belly tea girl. Give it to her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Share the videos. <laughs> Peace to the family. Love you guys, man. Y'all the best.